You're here because you think the engine has a vacuum leak. Connect the scan tool and select engine data. Then select the oxygen sensor. If the engine has two oxygen sensors, select them both like we did here. Then start the engine and allow it to warm up. This is to get the oxygen sensors working. Use propane and get a long tip so you can get into the tight areas. Many technicians will use a spray cleaner and try to find the vacuum leak. Propane will give you a much better result than any spray cleaner can. Allow the propane to flow and move the tip around the suspect areas of the engine while you're looking at the oxygen sensor's response. Here, the oxygen sensors show no response to the propane. That indicates that there isn't a vacuum leak in this area. Keep moving the tip around slowly as you watch the oxygen sensor's response on the scan tool. When we add propane to this area, the bank one sensor goes full rich. That's indicating that there's a vacuum leak in this area and affects only one bank. When you find a vacuum leak, move the tip away and allow the oxygen sensor to return to normal. Then flow propane into the same area to see if the oxygen sensors respond with a rich signal again. If it does, you can be sure that that area has a vacuum leak. Keep looking in all areas. It's common for an engine to have more than one vacuum leak. Look in tight areas and hard to get to areas. Here we're looking at a brake booster hose. Check all areas for vacuum leaks. This area is common to both banks and when we add propane to the brake booster hose you can see both oxygen sensors go rich. They are both common to the brake booster hose. Make sure you check map sensor hoses and all vacuum hoses and everywhere on the engine you can find that may have a vacuum leak. 